Okay, time for game five. Let's do this. Okay. That looks like a hand that I'm willing to keep. Three power, two titans and an interaction, plus a scout to help us find the second time. Once again, a hand that I could also see arguments for redrawing, given that we don't have the second time and we have a six drop, but all in all I like hands that have all three factions and a crest and at least three power and some interaction plus, say, titan. Wisdom helps us hit our turn for Titan, hopefully. Give us a crown watch to levitate. Oop. Not happening. Then we levitate this to see if we draw depleted power cells. We do not. But it's not like permafrost. It's bad either on this outlaw. But yeah, once again, this is a deck where there's a lot of potential blowback between Enforcer Trust and in Plate. Yourself. So gotta be careful with those permafrosts. To be fair, Polymorph is also bad against Rakano, so. Pick your poison. Not sure what the opponent is waiting for. And there's our turn 4 play. I guess we delay our wisdom. Hmm. Could keep that. But I think we will find our power and influence enough to not having to hold this on top. Like when you play enough power you don't you can like just chip power that you don't need at the moment. We have four, all we need is two more and one fire one uh time and I don't think we aggressively need to leave power on top here, especially with the wisdom and two titans. I think I wanna just bounce this now. I mean it's unlikely that someone still plays something like protect, but it's not really much upside in waiting, because... I mean, I guess... Actually, now that I think about it, maybe could have waited and seen if they uh, hammer of might it, but... Oh well. But there's also the potential of being punished by, like... Um, Say a whirling duo dealing us one more damage. Die with honor. A reckless, voracious Fosora. First Titan probably not gonna stick. Second Titan hopefully will. Because otherwise we're taking too much damage. Because this is a surprisingly decent transformation actually. As long as he has a way to kill the titan, or just at least finish off the titan. Like Torch or Finest Hour. There's that. That's fair. We'll trade. Speaking of Hammer of Might. And that's our turn 6. Power for Heart of the Vault. Perfect. All according to plan. And no Vanquish on the other side. Also great. And Heart of the Vault in time to shoot down the Paranite. This looks scary. Huh. 
I guess time to hailstorm. And then attack. Because I really don't mind that trade at all. It's a bit small still, but we need one turn anyway, so we can just hard plus crest. I guess we take that hard then. Crest a bunch, bottom it, and get in. And yeah, here we're just gonna jump with the Titan. And next turn we can set up the du hard double block. Wield the flame. Well, also harding this down. Let's check. That's great. Perfect, actually. Permafrost is, hope he doesn't have a blade and draws power, and then he's just dead next turn. Defend the throne. And a jump, and the moment we'll make sure we don't die to a blade. That's indeed his last hand card. Right. That's always welcome. And that should seal the deal. Plate chip. It is the last hand card. But it's not lethal, so... And our crackback is lethal. Plus the wisdom should help us break through if it wasn't so. Things are looking up after the first two leg cluster games. Alright, we are 3 and 2. And we have one final game to go, so don't go anywhere just yet. Sixth and final game is coming right up.